Hi, and welcome to Hypnotize Me, the podcast about hypnosis, transformation, and healing. I'm Dr. Liz. Today's episode is a mini episode and answers a question or I give some thoughts about something. And today's question is, can everyone be hypnotized? So people will ask this sort of nervously sometimes, right? <laughs> like they call me up and they're wondering, like, if I come in, am I going to be able to be hypnotized? And basically they're asking, like, is this going to work? Is it going to help me? And the short answer to that is not everyone can be hypnotized. Like we do have varying degrees of our ability to go into a hypnotic trance. They've actually done a lot of research on this. There's even scales developed, like how hypnotizable somebody is. There's different signs you look for, this type of thing. Okay, so that's the no side of the question. But there's another piece to this question. And the other piece to it is, by the time you've called me, you have probably already researched hypnosis. You have probably already decided, like, I'm going to give this a shot Sometimes you think, yes, this is going to really work. And sometimes you're like, I'm not quite so sure. Sometimes I have clients that come in and they're like, I stopped smoking 10 years ago with hypnosis. I fully believe in it, right? Like that's a no brainer. And then sometimes you have people come in that's like, I'm desperate. I'll try anything. Nothing else has worked. Like, let me do this. And then you have the mid range in there, right? So when you've done all of that, chances are you're going to be able to go into hypnosis. Like it's probably going to be pretty easy for you, actually. Like we start off with the body, right? People try to start relaxation at home often with the mind, like telling themselves, relax, 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 right? And I actually learned a long time ago from teaching yoga that we start with the body. So we start there. And then once the body is relaxed, the mind will follow, Sometimes when someone's really ill or when there's a lot, a lot of anxiety going on, what we do is practice sessions. So we practice being able to go into a relaxed state before we start to do some work so that the person is more comfortable with the whole process. Okay. And also so the person can take those skills home with them and practice them there and get some relief because that relaxed state feels really, really good, right? Like most people really love it. And I know I said this on another episode or another, um, FAQ session, but like 20 minutes of hypnosis or meditation is like getting three hours of sleep. Okay, it's very restful and it's a very pleasant process. Like most people really enjoy that process. Again, sometimes when you have a really high level of anxiety, it's hard to get to that state. So we do all kinds of things to help you practice in short little segments so that you can begin to develop skills and develop competency, like feeling good and feeling capable of going into that state over time. It is not like you come in, you lay down and boom, we're into the hypnosis. Okay. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question for today and have a wonderful week. Peace. If you like this episode, do me a favor and rate, review, and subscribe on whatever player you like, or even better, tell a friend so that more and more people learn about hypnosis and how it can be helpful for them. If you want to know more about me, head over to drlizhypnosis.com. That's D-R-L-I-Z, hypnosis.com. You can see the downloads and see if there's one that's helpful for your life. Or you could also join the newsletter and get a couple of free files, as well as lots of good content. I've written a newsletter for well over 10 years. Go ahead and subscribe and join the rest of the world. All right, people, have a wonderful week. <laughs>